Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to add multiple text box values into a grid view control dynamically. And here we got the final output how to add multiple text box values into grid view control using view state. Let's add the name Charan, Charan at gmail.com, salary is 15,000 add values to grid view see here the values are added to the grid view control let's add the second value james j at yahoo.com 3500 add values to grid view and notice the james value is also added to the grid view control if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Textbox Values into Grid View GV. Okay. And from the templates, I'm selecting empty, OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a new web form page. Right click the project name, add web form. The web form name is textbox grid view values. Click OK. And here we got the source page of the newly created web page text box grid view values. Now between this form and do tag I'm adding center tag h1 how to add multiple text box values into grid view control. using view state horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding three text box controls one button control and one grid view control let's add those controls open toolbox I'm expanding the standard folder come to the bottom the text box control which is a name copy this one email salary and I'm changing the text box IDs to text name the set, second text box is a text email and the last one is a text salary adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding one button control open toolbox button control and I'm changing the button property of the text add values to grid view horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the grid view control open toolbox again come to the bottom I'm expanding the data folder the grid view control that's it. We have just finished the designing part. Now switch to the design mode. Double click the button control. And here we got the button click key bank. Now in this code behind, the first thing I'm adding the namespace using system.data. After adding the system.namespace, now I can able to access the data table class about the page load event I'm creating the data table class DT is equals to new data table In the page load event if not page dot is post back now I'm creating the columns for this data table 
dt dot columns dot add the first column of the data table which is the name copy this one we have three text box controls name and the second one is the email and the third one is a salary now I'm adding the values in the view state view state between double quotes records is equals to dt now I'm putting this data table columns inside the if condition if view state records copy this one paste here double equals to null I'm closing this bracket after the view state records dt now we require the rows for the data table dt is equals to I'm adding this view state records dt semicolon and notice we got an error cannot implicitly convert type object to system that data that data table so let's type cast this one with the data table let's add rows to the data table dt dot rows dot add the data rows we are adding from the text box name dot text comma the second one text box email dot text and the last one text salary dot text after adding the rows to the data table now the last one we need to bind the data table to the grid view control so grid view one which is a grid view id dot data source is equals to dt grid view one dot data bind method that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results google chrome and here we got the final output how to add multiple text box values into grid view control using view state let's add the name charan charan at gmail.com salary is 15,000 add values to grid view see here the values are added to the grid view control let's add the second value james j at yahoo.com 3500 add values to grid view notice the james value is also added to the grid view control that's it